Okay, <clears throat> this is a video for uh, Martin Salamasi. Uh, we requested uh, of the um, of the receiver um, with the barrel removed and just where the action sits. Now, I had this other jig that um, the barrel that I have in it is a .920 bull barrel, and I just outlined where it would go in and what uh, portion of the of the face would have to be. Uh, removed like uh, about one thirty seconds of material being removed to, to bring the barrel in but this uh, this is a 0.940 uh, uh, jig face uh, where I would probably use this as the um, as a device to kind of uh, mill like a one thirty seconds or kind of remove about one thirty seconds of material away from the front <coughs> of course <laughs> I didn't mean to drop that uh, then it would uh, then it would allow the barrel to uh, obviously come in and, and see uh, a little bit better. Uh, but here's the, here's the uh, I've got a, a, a Ruger 1022 um, BX25 uh, trigger group in here. Um, of course, I've got the high tower armory um, mag release and uh, bold op hold open catch here. That's the setup. I just got this table in here to keep the pins from uh, falling out. But uh, this is the receiver um, with the bolt in it. Now the bolt is a uh, it, a Ruger 1022 uh, manufacturer I got some brown owls and the uh, charging handle and springs are the same uh, I'll take this out so you can kind of see it but uh, basically here's the here's the bolt as it is inside of the uh, receiver and I'll, I'll just let it I'll kind of like let it go forward so you can kind of see where it comes up um, so there is the uh, okay let me see if I can get it to this side here maybe a little bit better try to hold the camera just at the same time there's some light um, all right so here's the uh, there we go it's a little bit better okay so there is the bolt as it goes forward it's trying to get I guess this is the best angle to see it That's me. If I push it forward, it'll come up and match the, you know, the, um, the back of the the action um, face. But um, I don't think it really is meant to do that anyway. But um, the spring, of course, is a standard uh, Ruger 1022 uh, charging handle and spring. So it's really not going to let me bring it any more any for farther forward than that anyway. But um, that's that's where I'm at now. So I've got a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a play issue here. But this is it uh, already sprung forward. I wish I could hold this a little bit better, and maybe I need to get somebody to hold the camera for me. But anyway, um, okay, that's this is it without the barrel in place. Um, I'm gonna get better on top. So that's where it stands now. Um, like I said, I can't get the spring to make it go any farther forward like that because it's just all all the spring has. Um, you know, sp spring, and then just where it comes up. Now, if I push it with my hand, it'll go f farther forward. But the um, the spring just uh, on its own, it, it leaves that much of a gap. And so, if I do it with my fingers and just kind of push it forward, I can. So it's just that much gap in play. So let me go ahead and pull the pins <clears throat> real quick. See if I can. I got something here I can do that with. And then um, set this. Set that right there. Alright, let me leave that there for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the pins. And then we can pull the. Um, trigger group out. I've got just tape here to kind of hold the pins in. Get that out of the way. Yeah, it's not that, that you know, it, it's needed. It's just that, you know, I don't like them falling out. And everybody knows that Ruger 1022 is the, you know, the trigger group pins. Just, you know, they're, they're easily to fall out. So it's no big deal there. All right, so here's the, uh, here it is with the, um, let me see if I can get it a little bit more light but uh, here's the receiver um, bolt and bolt carrier the bolt carrier is in place um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the bolt um, go ahead and lock it back and remove the uh, remove the bolt from it mm -hmm. and, well, 
almost got out. take the uh, <coughs> recoil buffer out because then let me bring it back enough. Okay, try this again. All right. Okay, the bolt's out and there's the bolt. It's just basically a uh, standard Ruger 1022 bolt, um, like a factory one, and uh, the charging handle. Well, of course, the charging handle is, again, also the, uh, move the camera out a little bit better here. Okay, so here's the, uh, it's kind of shiny, but there's the, uh, let me get the focus a little bit better. Okay, yeah, I know it's, it's, the shiny is probably what's messing it up, but yeah, if I can, there we go. Alright, so there's the uh, charging handle, and there's the pocket where it goes, and I just put a little, sort of a very, very, um, uh, real tiny divot there because I didn't want to go too deep because I thought it might be that was some of the concerns maybe that uh, this little shelf is not maybe long enough I don't know but uh, yeah this is a standard uh, Ruger 1022 charging handle uh, and uh, frame and let me get it to back in where it goes and of course it's uh, kind of stiff that and so that's where that's where it kind of sits the on the shelf and there's the gap that it has and everything that that all looks normal to me um, so maybe I'm wrong but it's uh, it's oops, it keeps falling off the shelf there and that's that's it so um, let me put the Putting back together here. <clears throat> Oops. Jeez. And okay, so I make a nice little tool <laughs> to do this, but I don't. Well, hang on, well, I guess I need to make one. But uh, there's that. Okay. okay. Nothing works right on camera. this guy back in so um, here it is now of course when it's got the um, when it has the um, trigger group in there uh, putting pressure up against the bottom of the, of the bolt uh, obviously it takes away some of the uh, some of the carrier tilt here that you see uh, kind of like I say it's a little kind of a little sloppy right there but when you put the when you put the um, the trigger group in there it kind of takes away some of that and um, but that's that's pretty much it um, as you can see yeah, it's a little bit better so 